Hi, it's Matt from Sunshades Window Fashions. Today we're going to talk about how to use and operate your Hunter Douglas PowerView remote. These remotes may look different, but they're actually identical. Just the holder changes with a handheld versus a surface mount wall switch. The Hunter Douglas PowerView remote has six group controls. You can program up to as many shades as you like per group, or you can have just one on each. Typically people like to do that. For an example, if you're in your family room, you can have four windows and just label them one through four, which gives you the option to highlight one shade and open and close, highlight the next shade, open and close. Or if you like, you can select all feature on the remote and with just an up or down motion, all of the shades will move at the same time. Now that we know how to operate the group control functions on your Hunter Douglas PowerV remote, we can look at how to actually program a shade to the remote. The first one we're gonna look at is how do we add a shade onto the remote? And then I'll also show you how you can remove one if you make a mistake. You're gonna select the number you would like. In this example, we're gonna use number two, and we're gonna put this shade onto the remote. We're gonna press and hold the stop button on the remote. It takes about six seconds. Once we have the remote flashing, we highlight the number two, we come to the shade, press the button and up, the shade is going to slightly jog up and down to indicate that you've programmed it to the remote correctly. So now we'll just give it a try. We'll take it out of program mode, press and hold the stop. Once the, it stops flashing, you select number two, just make sure number two is highlighted and we'll test it out. We'll press open. And there you go. We've got your shade now programmed to your remote and all the functionality will work. If you make a mistake when you're programming, and you possibly put it on the wrong channel, I'll show you how to remove that shade. It's a very similar process. You press and hold the stop button. Remote is flashing, now in programming mode. I select number two again. This time, instead of pressing up, we, we just press down to remove it. So we're gonna press the shade down. It jogs to indicate that we've now removed the shade. So we're gonna take the remote out of program mode, press and hold the stop button until it stops flashing. And we're gonna try it again. Let's see if this window covering is now off. So we've got two highlighted, up, down, tilt, nothing works. So that's good. We've removed it from the shade. Now that we've learned how to program a shade to the remote, as well as if you make a mistake, remove the shade from the remote. Um, now we're going to look at the actual functionality. What do all these buttons do? So as I said in the, earlier in the video, one through six is your group control, so you can put single or multiple blinds on any number you like, okay? And the other ones are how you actually operate it. Pretty straightforward, up will open the shade, and this shade can fully retract all the way up into the cassette. Purpose of the video, I'm gonna stop it, close the shade, and now you can see there's two arrows on either side of the stop button, which only work on any products that we carry that tilt, okay? For an example, if it's just a straight roller shade, only the up, down, and stop buttons work. The two side tilt functions do not work on that type of product. On this one, however, we're on channel two and we can tilt the shade open. You can stop that at any time by hitting the stop button and we can also tilt the shade closed. Now that we're at the roller shade, clearly I can show you that the tilt function does not work on this shade. Tilting up, nothing moves, tilting down, nothing moves. So those tilt features only work when the shade actually does tilt. The last feature we're gonna talk about today with your Hunter Douglas PowerView remote is the favorite feature. You may or may not know, there's a little heart indicator button on your remote. What that does is it sets a favorite position of wherever you would like the shade to end up in the window. From the manufacturer, if you press the heart button, it'll always end up at about 50%, okay? With the Hunter Douglas dual light roller shades, we've actually got two fabrics, one light filtering and one room darkening. So I'm gonna lower the room darkening shade. And on the dual light shades, the room darkening shade is the one that you can set the favorite feature on. So we're gonna let the shade go all the way down. Now this is set by the manufacturer 50%. We'll press the heart button and our back fabric is gonna end up somewhere around here, which is where the manufacturer sets it at the factory. What we'll do quickly is a lot of people don't like it at exactly half, so I'll show you how you can change that. 
So we're at the 50%, great. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move it to where we would like it. And a lot of people with this style of shape like it somewhere around the one third or three quarter mark, we'll stop it there. Then you're gonna take your remote, press and hold the stop button like we've done in the past. Once the numbers highlight, the shade is flashing, we can program that. You don't have to select which number you want because you're directly telling the shade by pressing the motor button. So we're gonna just press and hold the motor button, press the heart on the remote. We get a short little jog on the back fabric. And then we're just gonna take the remote out of power, or sorry, programming mode, by pressing and holding stop again. Highlight number six, and let's see how we made out here. So let's close the shade a little bit. Okay, so we're well away from the area that we set the new favorite, and we'll try it out. We press the heart, and now we've got a new favorite position set on the shade, and you can do that uh, right across the room. This works really well as uh, with any of our window covering products, especially when you have multiple blinds or multiple windows in a room, you can set each one at the exact same height. And, you know, instead of fighting with each single window and trying to line them all up, you can do it one time and then hit the favorite button either for all shades or the exact uh, window location that you would like. Thanks for joining us today in our power view motorization video. Hopefully the how to's really help out if you're trying to reprogram something or even just learn how to operate your remote. And I uh, hope you like the new end part with the exciting soft touch motorization. Something really cool, really cost effective, and uh, it works out in any window. So it's, it's a great thing. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you in the next video.